Hello and welcome to the daily news update on Remo TV, your number one source for local news stories in Remo land. I am Shabak Bako. First, the headlines The Alliance Club of Shagamu USA donates medical equipment to OSU. I cost of leaving impacts school resumption as parents and guardians in Remo communities express concerns. Canopilla slapped with heavy fines and fan ban after game misconduct. Music executive T. Bills accuses David Doe of bullying Tiwa Savage. Let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Here's the news in full. In a remarkable act of generosity, the Alliance Club of Shagamu USA made a significant donation to the Olabisi Onobanjo University Teaching Hospital today. The club, known for its commitment to giving back to the community, presented 10 transport chairs and 5 walking workers to the esteemed medical facility. The chief medical doctor, Dr. Oluwabumi Motorayo Fatungashe, and Dr. Jagun Olusoji Edward, Head of Training and Clinical Service, expressed their heartfelt gratitude for the club's invaluable contribution. During the donation ceremony, Dr. Fatunga Sheikh delivered a short address expressing her deep appreciation for the Alliance Club initiative. She emphasized the vital role that such donations play in the growth and development of the hospital. Engineer Olubenga Abayami Bakari one of the founding members of the club reaffirmed their dedication to community service. In quote, giving back to the community is at the core of our club's mission, he emphasized. So uh, as a part of uh, Alliance uh, program and uh, what we try to do and the purpose of creating the club is to be able to give back to the community and that is why and this is the second time and our second year uh, of doing this type of uh, Give, give back to the community and I think the last year was uh, we tried to like you know make uh, some uh, exercise book big note that we shared among about six or seven secondary school within the Shagam environment and this year we decided to donate uh, 10 uh, wishes and five uh, working workers to assist uh, people going through physical therapies and uh, who might be a little bit uh, in need of wishes and workers. The event witnessed the presence of other esteemed club members, including Dr. Samir Ubello, the country's representative, Oluwasho Abayomi Bakari, and Kule Albiodo. As schools open for the new academic session, parents and guardians in Remor have voiced their concerns over the high cost of living impacting their children's resumption. Many families are struggling to afford essential items such as bags books and other supplies which have seen a significant increase in price. The rising expenses have made it difficult for parents to provide their children with necessary tools for school here. In an interview with Mrs. Adeola, a parent in Iperu Remo, she expressed her frustration over the escalating prices of educational materials. In quote, it is disheartening to see the prices of basic items double in such a short period, Mrs. Adeola shared. As a single mother, I'm finding it increasingly challenging to meet the demands of my child's education. The high cost of living has made it difficult for parents like me to provide our children with the necessary supplies they need for school. For sports news, Canopilla has been fined 10 million naira for delaying the smooth transmission of a live broadcast in their game against Pretu United on Sunday. Canopillas will pay a 1 million naira fine for repeated offense of throwing objects onto the pitch as well as another one million for misconduct capable of bringing the game to disrepute. A 250,000 naira fan being compensation will be paid to the assistant referee Sadiq Adejumo for injuries sustained. A 250,000 naira fan being compensation will be paid to the assistant referee Sadiq Adejumo for injuries sustained. The club will play their next home matches at the Sunny Abacha Stadium in Kano before the mid-season break without fans. They have 48 hours from the day of notice of sanction to appeal. For entertainment news, Davido has been accused of bullying Tiwa Savage by music executive Tunji Balogun, also known as T-Bills. 
He asserted that the DMW chairman had threatened to send goons after his ex-wife, Tiwa Savage, and added that this was not the first time he had bullied his child's mother. Tibios asked what would have happened if threatened to send boys to the mother of your son and this is the third time he bullied her on his Instagram page. He mentioned that despite his polite attempt to get in touch with Davido, he has always received an arrogant and non-challenged answer. Tibios has been criticizing Davido and threatening to discipline him for what he perceives to be disrespect for his family. His tantrum came days after David Doe and Tiwa Savage unfollowed each other on Instagram. That is it on the daily news update on Remo TV. Do well to follow us on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, X, Thread and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Shabak Bako. Thanks for listening.